guys should have woken up by now. Let's praise this together. Jesus, your name is power. Jesus, your name is power. Jesus, your name is mine. Jesus, your name will break every stronghold. Jesus, your name is... Let's sing that again. Jesus, your name. Jesus, your name is power. Jesus, your name is mine. Jesus, your name will break every stronghold. Jesus, your name is my second verse. Jesus, your name is healing. Jesus, your name gives sign. Jesus, your name will free every captive. Jesus, your name is like third verse. Jesus, your name is holy. Jesus, your name breaks light. Jesus, your name above all the others. Jesus, your name is... Sing that again. Jesus, your name is holy. Jesus, your name is holy. Jesus, your name brings light. Jesus, your name above all the others. Jesus, your name is, Jesus, your name is power. Jesus, your name is power. Jesus, your name is mine. Jesus, your name will break every stronghold. Jesus, your name is like Jesus, your name. Jesus, your name is power, is power. Jesus, your name is mine. Jesus, your name will break every stronghold. Jesus, your name is love. Jesus, your name. Jesus, your name is power. Jesus, your name is mine. Jesus, your name above all the other. Jesus, your name is love. All right, let's wake up, let's stand up, let's greet one another, say to each other, hey, uh, for those that are at home, okay? Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Stand up. Come on. Stand up. Stand up. You stand up. I'm already standing up, silly. All right, everyone, stand up, come on. Oh, man. Oh, 
man. Bunch of lazies. Bunch of lazies today. All right, here we go. Let's pray together. I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant king. You guys ready? All right. Yes, yes, yes. All right, come on. All right, remnants, it's healthy to clap. All right, here we go. I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant kid. I'm a child of God, believing in his promises. I'm a child. I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant kid. I'm a child of God, believing in his promises. Jesus forgives my sins. Jesus, he's always needing me. Jesus answers my prayers. Jesus gives me victory. I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant king. I'm a child of God, believing in his promises. Jesus, your turn. Oh, man, he's always leading me. Jesus senses my prayers. Jesus gives me victory. I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant king. I'm a child of God. Believing in his promises. Believing, believing in his promises. Believe it, believing in his promise. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad. In giving the glory to him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come and his bride has made us. Eyes up here, let us rejoice and be glad. In giving the glory to him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His bride has made herself ready. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. All right, there was one praise that was stuck in my mind all week long. Okay. I don't know if you guys remember it, okay? Lord, I don't know how, but somehow I have to say that you are everything to me, everything I need. Do you guys remember? Okay? So when you guys praise, okay, I want you guys to really, exp I want you guys to really give it your all, your, your thanksgiving, your love, right? Everything that you have sincerely to God. Okay? And see how God fills your hearts, fills your souls, fills it with the Holy Spirit. Amen? Okay? If you're angry, if you're upset, okay? If you're bored, I don't know, if you're tired, okay? Let's break down the force of darkness. Amen? All right, follow after me. Break down the force of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Okay, I give up. All right, here we go. Lord, I don't know how, but somehow I have to say. All right, here we go. One, two, one. Lord, I don't know how, but somehow I have to say. That you are everything, everything to me, knowing you're, knowing you're inside of me, makes me glad to know, glad to know that I'm a child of yours, child of the King, Lord, I don't, Lord, I don't know how, but somehow I have to say, 
have to say that you are everything, everything to me. Knowing you're inside of me makes me glad to know, glad to know that I'm a child of yours, child of the One more time, Lord, I don't know how, but somehow I have to say, have to say that you are everything, everything to me. Knowing you're inside of me makes me glad to know, glad to know that I'm a child of yours, child of the key. And I, and I praise your name, Lord, I praise your name. And I lift you up for heaven, and I praise your name, Lord, I praise your name, and I lift you up for heaven from the top, Lord, I don't know how. But somehow I have to say, have to say that you are everything, everything to me. Knowing you're inside of me makes me glad to know, glad to know that I'm a child of yours, child of the King. And I praise your name. Lord, I praise your name, and I lift you up forever, and I praise your name, Lord, I praise your name, and I lift you up forever, and I, and I praise your name. Lord, I praise your name, and I lift you up for heaven, and I praise your name. Lord, I praise your name, and I lift you up for heaven. All right, deep down, I need some participation. Okay, let's proclaim our praises, our wonderful praises to God, okay? Break down the force of darkness as you guys are praising and worshiping today, okay? Let's praise it together. And deep, 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 oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus, deep. Deep down, deep down, down, deep down in my heart. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down, everyone together. Deep down in my heart. Deep, 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 deep down, down. Deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart. Girls, do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. Deep down, boys. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. Okay, deep down in my boys again. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. Boys, go. Deep down in my heart. Deep, 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 oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart. Do you love your Jesus? Right side, deep down, this side. Deep down, that side. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. 
indeed everyone together do you love your jesus deep down in your heart deep down in my heart amen all right sit down guys All right, with all of your hearts, let's pray to the last one together, okay? God is so good, and he is so good to me. I want you guys to close your eyes, okay? Since we all know this. Close your eyes, but don't sleep, okay? Close your eyes. Sit up straight. Sit up straight. Okay. Please sit up straight. Thank you. Okay? I want you guys to deep in. Uh, breathe in deep. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay? Think about only Jesus. Think about your salvation. Okay? Think about today's worship. And I want you guys to continue to break down all the force of darkness. Okay? So that the time of the message, you guys may be able to receive it in your hearts. Okay? And let's praise this together. Okay? Break down all the force of darkness as you guys pray. Okay? Keep your eyes closed. Don't focus on anyone or anything. Let's focus on God. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. God is so God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to one last time. And God is, God is so, hallelujah, hallelujah, is so good, he's so good to me. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is so good. He's so good to me. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. Break down all the force of darkness that is working at this time, Lord. Fix our eyes. Allow us to fix our eyes and our hearts uh, to you at this time. Uh, may you guard our hearts and our minds. May you fill us with your Holy Spirit. May we be able to experience only Jesus inside of our lives, Lord. Uh, God, uh, during this time of worship, uh, may the remnants know how, how much of a blessing it is. May this time not go to waste. May this time be a time. Uh, where your talents, where your evangelism, and where your gospel is revealed to these remnants, Lord. Uh, God, in a time when the, uh, in an age where the gospel is diminishing, where the gospel is disappearing, may you raise these remnants up uh, as your watchmen, as your watchtowers, uh, as your platforms, and as your antennas uh, that can truly live for evangelism missions, Lord. Uh, we know that all this is only possible because you are the triune God. So restore the remnants with your five powers. May they be able to experience the power that transcends time and space during this time of worship. We thank you so much. I pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Until Teacher Jen comes up, close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. Okay. And I want you guys to continue to pray. Break down all the force of darkness. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. Sit straight. And continue to pray. Okay.
I believe in you, my God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, your only Son, my Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, you rose again. You ascended into heaven, you were seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in your Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Person who is blessed, three to one. May I delight only in the law of the Lord today as well, and be the one who meditates on your law day and night. Law of the Lord, three to one. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing in the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Prayer for Ben's missions, read to one. May I be consumed with the word today as well and testify that Jesus is a Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. But Jesus life, Jesus power, Jesus healing, Jesus witness. Raise his banner for the nations. Witness of only the covenant. 138. Restoration through Christ, platform, pass through the gates, prepare the way, build up the highway, remove the stones of unbelief, and raise the banner. Jesus, our Savior, God's reward, salvation, watchtower. God posted us as the watchmen on the walls, never silent, day or night. No rest, give God no rest. And then antenna, communicate with God as his holy people, redeemed of the Lord, sought after, city no longer deserted, mystery of 24, past, present, future, my 24, breakdown force of darkness, church 24, worship, and field 24, spiritual summit. His message, eyes of only Eyes of only. Acts four twenty nine to thirty one. Everybody there? Well, since everybody's there, we'll read it together in one voice. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform miraculous signs and wonders to the name of your holy servant, Jesus. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Bold. I see the word bold two times. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Amen. Today's lesson objective see everything with the eyes of only. Only what? Of only Christ. Of only Jesus. Only the covenant. 138. I think in this clinical. Look, she's be, she's our prayer background. Can I move on? All right. Let's review. So this is from last week. 
Last week, uh, okay, so the crippled man was healed, and Peter and John are proclaiming to the crowd this was possible through only Jesus, name of Jesus. And then they were explaining, oh, these Pharisees and the, the, the teachers of the law, the leaders, they're like, oh, it was by the name of Jesus Christ, whom you crucified, but God raised from the dead. Death, original sin, life, salvation, and then the leaders were angry. You're under arrest. But then it was kind of late, so they placed them in jail overnight. While they're in jail, they're probably praising God, right? But ugh, this number just keeps growing. Number of disciples kept increasing to like 5,000? That's a lot. Okay, so the next day, so there's different leaders and rulers who came to Jerusalem for this trial. Let's see. I forgot their names. Their names are not even important. They don't deserve to be important. Anyways, they brought Peter and John to court. By what power and by what name were you able to raise this crippled beggar? Oh, rulers, elders, listen up. And he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Do we have to worry about what we're going to say? No, when God fills with the Holy Spirit, then we could boldly talk about only the gospel. This man was healed. Uh, are we on trial because we did an act of kindness? They did a kind act. Well, if you're asking by what name, it, it, well, you and all Israel, listen up. It was by the name of Jesus of Nazareth that this man stands before you. The name of Jesus, Jesus whom you crucified, but God raised from the dead. That this man stands before you today. And guess what? Salvation is found in no one else. Like no one else. This stone that you rejected became the cornerstone. Capstone. If you take that one out, salvation is found in no one else, for there's no other name under heaven. And they're like, isn't he just a fisherman? How does he know all this? Which leads to today's message Eyes of Only. So they gather together, the elders and the rulers, they gather together and they're thinking, oh, what should we do? Hmm. Peter and John raised the crippled beggar. Well, what should we do about this? How should we punish them? Why do they need to be punished? What we going to do? Hmm. Like, it's hard to do anything because everyone knows about it. Over like thousands and thousands of people. And this news keeps spreading. What should we do about this? What happens if they, get, if they punish Peter and John? What are the people going to do? All these people. Find Waldo. Right there. They're going to do a revolution, right? They're going to revolt. So they were afraid of that. So they're like, ha, ah, everyone knows that the crippled beggar was raised in the name of Jesus, and we cannot, we cannot deny it because this crippled man is standing right there. Okay, let's, let's, let's give him a warning not to use the name of Jesus. Stop. That's all they could really do, huh? Give him a warning. So they went, they gathered together, they brought forth Peter and John, and here's the warning. Don't speak or teach the name of Jesus anymore. And they probably yelled at them. They probably threatened them. If you do it again, you're gonna go to jail again. What do you think? How do you think Peter responded? Oh, okay. All right. Peter's like. Hmm, well, let me ask you this. What is right in God's eyes? Huh? I 
I won the staring contest. What's right in God's eyes? Should we keep... Now, you be the judge. Should we stop talking about Jesus' name? Or should we keep talking about Jesus' name? Oh, okay. We can't help it. We can't help but to speak of what we have seen and heard, right? They were with Jesus. They saw all that Jesus performed, all the miracles, Jesus suffering, crucified, dead and buried. But not only that, resurrected. And then they gathered in Mark's upper room, and they received filling of the Holy Spirit. And then with this filling of the Holy Spirit, they went out and proclaimed the gospel, and doors of evangelism keep opening up, and they find hidden prepared disciples like the crippled beggar. How can they keep silent? And they were angry. <laughs> Why are they so angry? Just because they, t they did a, a, nice, a nice act of kindness to raise a crippled man? Just in the name of Jesus? Why do you think they're so angry? Maybe spiritually they were like children of Satan or something. And they didn't even know it, but they were going against it, the gospel. Maybe because they're doing something that their dad doesn't like. Who was their dad? Probably Satan, devil. Of course he won't like that. So people who are angry or mad at you for sharing the gospel for no reason, no, just know spiritually. Oh. So anyways, they couldn't decide what kind of punishment to give them. And the, in the meanwhile, people are just praising God. They're like, all right, nothing we could do, huh? Because the crippled man was raised in the name of Jesus. So that's you making all that mess. There's always pieces of paper all over the floor. We found the culprit. His name is... Waldo. Because he was crippled for over 40 years. That's a long time. Anyways, they're freed. Woohoo! And so they returned to the family of believers. They went back, and all the people. And then Peter and John explained to them what these, uh, the, the leaders and the rulers and the elders did and warned. What, how do you think the people reacted? Do you think everyone was worried? <gasps> oh, okay, Peter, John, don't do that anymore. You're going to get in trouble. Oh. <laughs> they, they raised their voice and praised God even more. And not only that, they prayed for Peter and John. Just like we pray for our pastors, right? And they praise God saying, oh, God, the sovereign Lord, everything is in his hands. God who made the heavens and the earth, oh, creator God, and the sea and everything in them. There's a lot of things in the sea. God created everything. Who created the heavens and the earth, solar system, everything. Look at that. Even the soul. God makes everything go perfectly. The sun. The stars. And... Now all these people, they're saying, oh, this must, have, this must be what King David was talking about. Let's see what King David said. And this is years and years back. Continued. This is what King David said. Why do the nations rage, anger, rah? And why do the peoples plot? Hmm, how are we going to persecute, get rid of Jesus? 
in vain. That means it's useless. Were these religious leaders plotting in vain? Yeah, they were plotting. First of all, they were plotting to get rid of Jesus, Peter, John. Same thing with like when Judas was alive and he plotted with the other leaders. Were they successful with their plot, their evil plan? Nope. The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers gathered together against the Lord and against the Christ. Who were some kings or leaders that went against Jesus? Jesus? King Saul was like during David's time, dude. King Ahab was doing Elijah's time, dude, way before Jesus. <laughs> King Vashti? That's a queen, buddy. Herod. King Herod. And there was another leader. Pontius Pilate. Yeah. King Herod, Pontius Pilate. They, they went against Christ. They met together to conspire, plan hmm, against Holy Servant, Jesus, the one whom you anointed, right? The Christ. Now, were they successful? But they killed Jesus. But that was all part of God's plan, right? I guess God used them because he had to die to solve original sin. So even if they think they killed Jesus, it was, that was even in God's plan. See, they gathered all the people to conspire, plot against Jesus, but to do what was in God's hand, what God planned or predestined for it to take place. Right? This was all part of God's plan. Him getting captured, suffered, crucified, dead, and buried, all part of God's plan. Now, let's see what the, the church or the people confess again. Now, Lord, consider their threats, the, the ruler's threats. Don't talk about Jesus. But enable your servants. Who are the servants? Peter, John, right, the disciples. To speak your word with even more boldness. So the leader said in court, do not talk about the name of Jesus. We're warning you. But then what is the church praying for? God, help them speak even more boldly. Give them power, right? Just like we pray for our pastors, five powers. What are five powers? One remnant uses that prayer topic all the time. We pray for five powers. Who was that? Was he hiding? What are the five powers? Hey is not a power. Spiritual power. Mental power. Physical power. Manpower. Financial power. Yeah. So they're praying for the, the leaders and the pastors and evangelists, the apostles. God, stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant Jesus. Only Jesus, right? Because through only the name of Jesus, there is life, Jesus' life, Jesus' power, and Jesus' healing. And they are Jesus' witness. Yeah. And we are Jesus' witness, right? And all this is contained in the name of Jesus. Now let's, let's see what they did. So they gathered together. They prayed together. And then it was the place they gathered was shaken. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Kind of like, yeah, what happened in Mark's upper room. Now it's happening to everybody else. Cool. Filling of the Holy Spirit. Now, with this filling of the Holy Spirit, what do you think the people did? Shh. 
No. Just like, remember the 120, they received the filling of the Holy Spirit and they went out boldly. They did the same thing. Now these thousands and thousands of people, they're filled with the Holy Spirit and they boldly spoke about the Word of God. What is the Word of God telling us, talking about? Only Jesus. So, get it? Got it? Good. All right. Now, the church members... And then Peter and John, they had different eyes because they could have been shaken by going to prison. And they could have been shaken when the leader said, "Mm, don't talk about Jesus. We're warning you. Like, when you wear different types of sunglasses, if you wear red sunglasses, how do you see everything? Everything's red, right? What about green sunglasses? Oh, no, everything green. <laughs> like, sometimes you need to wear sunglasses, like when you're on a beach. Let's say you wear, oh, nice yellow shades. Yellow is kind of associated with, like, what emotion? Happy. Joy, happy. So if you wear the, the glasses of happiness or joy, then everything you see is, Oh, happy disaster. No, no, no. You think butterflies are a disaster? Happy. We've got a bunch of opposite frogs here. All right. What about... Oh. About, about that. Oh, so sad. Yeah, that's why you... It's so depressed. If you wear glasses of like... Like, oh, oh gray. What is the gray, color gray associated with? Sad. Sad, depressed. And you see, oh, everything's so depressing. Ooh, uh, green is vomit. Okay. Oh, so depressing. Sad. Okay. What about. Oh, so angry. Red. What is red associated with? Happy, angry, angry, anxiety. Anger. Anger. Rage. 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 Everything you see around, everything you see with the eyes of anger is, oh, everything is, gets you mad, angry. Ah. What about like, yeah. Take that. Green. What is green associated with? Ger- uh, germs. Germs. Ev- gr- disgust, right? Ooh, disgusting. Gross. What about... Uh, I don't know. Pink? <laughs> pink? Pink? Sometimes people see things and everything is funny to them. Everything is funny to them. Uh, whatever. I couldn't. I don't know what color is for funny, but everything is a joke. Even if it's serious situation, it's still a joke to them. A lot of comedians think this way. Joke. Okay. Well, what kind of eyes do you have? How do you see things? I don't know. Who is that? It's so close, you can't even recognize his face. That banshee, banshee. Get it? Get him, Kitty. That's you. We need to see everything through the eyes of what's W? God's word. Everything through God's word. Everything that takes place, we see it with the eyes of? How does P is with? Someone needs to go back to preschool. Prayer. Everything we see, we connect it to prayer. There's, a, there's this one remnant who always gives that prayer topic to succeed in remnant time so I could connect everything to prayer. Who is that? 
Why are you smiling? You don't use that. That's Lydia. Prayer. Connect everything we see to prayer. And not only that, everything that takes place, we connect it to, or we see through the eyes of E. What does E stand for? Don't say Emma. The eyes of Emma. No. The eyes of evangelism, right? Everything. Everything. Someone's mean to you, evangelism. Someone's nice to you, evangelism. Someone ignoring you, evangelism. Someone seems lonely, evangelism. Someone is going through a hard time, evangelism. Everything, evangelism. New person, evangelism. Someone who you've known for a long time, evangelism. Neighbors, evangelism. Criminals, evangelism. Okay, now keeping that in mind, am I only, only? Are you only, only? Are you only, only, only? Are you only, only Jesus? Like, what are we holding on to? Like, this super remnant. What is this super remnant holding on to? Are we holding on to only... Zip, 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 zip. 138? Are we holding on to 138 things or are we holding on to only? What is one? <gasps> Ooh. What's one? No. Jesus Christ, only Christ. What is three? God's kingdom. What is eight? The Holy Spirit. You, don't, you forgot all of that? Are you guys wearing pink glasses where everything is a joke to you now? I don't know. What's one? Let's try that again. One is Christ. What's three? What's eight? Yeah. Wait, prayer? No, which number is prayer? Seventeen. What was that? Fourteen is prayer. Are we holding on to only the covenant and praying? When we hold on to only the covenant and pray, what takes place? Remember the five time schedule, God's time schedule? First things first. When we, when we do this, what takes place? No, working of the Holy Spirit, right? When we hold on to the covenant and pray, the Holy Spirit will work. When the Holy Spirit works, what takes place? Yeah, there was an evangelism open up. Which means God's word becomes fulfilled. God's word is fulfilled. And then when God's word is fulfilled, who arises? Remember like 5,000, thousands and thousands were? Who were they? Doves rise? It does start with a D. Disciples. Yeah. Disciples that God prepared arise. And then, as disciples arise, they, what do they do to the field? They change the field. Change the field, change the world, change wherever they go. So are you only only? Only one through eight. All right. Only Jesus, only Jesus life, only Jesus power, only Jesus healing, only Jesus witness, only platform, only watchman, only antenna, only Google Classroom. Uh, our homework was finish up your 393 jam board. That's, which is why you got a letter grade of G. G. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, F, G. It's okay. You still have until Saturday, which is tomorrow. G is for God. Stay seated. Find the hidden objects for those of you who weren't here Wednesday. Garbage can, Malala book. A chair, water bottle.
color pencil, clock, rollerblade, band-aid, an Uno card, a pointer, post note, loose leaf, a Coleman cut, and origami. People who were here Wednesday, don't spoil it. Let's let's see. Okay, guys, we really need to pray for that remnant because now she's. That's trapezoid. Someone needs to do IXL. Not you. That's uh, the top plus the bottom, the base one plus base two. Something divided by two. All right, the reveal. Garbage can. Right there. Right there. A book. Right there. Right there. Chair. Right there. Right there. Right there. Water bottle. Right there. Computer. Right there. There's no computer. Right there. Color right there. pencil. Right there. Clock. Right there. Rollerblade. Right there. Band-aid. Right there. Uno card. Right there. Pointer. Right there. Post-it note. Right there. Loose leaf. Coleman cut. Right there. Origami. Right there. Right there. Let's pray for Micronesia and Samoa. Micronesia and Samoa. What? Oh, poor Samoa. All right, let's pray. Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless. Oh, Christian nations. Micronesia and Samoa, so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise, shine the light of the gospel, and establish your kingdom there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Who's clicking pen while we're praying for Micronesia and Samoa? Starts with, okay, let's pray. I don't know why people are walking around. It's prayer. Dear God, may you bless our precious remnants. Help us to hold on to only Jesus' life, only Jesus' power, only Jesus' healing, only Jesus' witness. And pray so that we can experience working the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Amen.